Okay, I'm gonna drop it right here. All right. You guys are done, then we're gonna pull over and you two guys are getting out. We'll drive a little bit, then you'll do your piece on the wide, then we'll pull over, you'll get out, and then we'll drive off and you'll get in the suburban. Uh, I just thought I would see even more here so I could work with bringing the lights closer. Uh, in this piece, we have, have everything. <laughs> When you pit uh, one set of suffering against another set of suffering, there's always going to be a problem. And a lot of times when you have black people speak about issues of abortion, you know, the argument is like, well, stop talking about police brutality because what about this? And it's like, that's, that stuff's not helpful, man. Talking about one suffering doesn't take away from the suffering of another suffering, if that makes sense. Um, so at the end of the day, we, we want to affirm the idea that personhood is valuable and is worth my fist raised as high as it can be. Uh, what we wanted to do was not only with the writing, but visually really catch the nuances and the complexity of, of um, what, a, what I would call a comprehensive uh, pro-life position would be. So the concept is uh, we wanted to put these folks in a luxurious vintage car that really wanted to uh, emulate the rocky nature, the bumpy nature, and swervy nature of uh, decisions that the culture makes independent of uh, biblical leading, of God, God leading. And so uh, basically the imagery that we're trying to portray is that uh, given these decisions, it's just really a, a rocky uh, time in our culture. And so take two. That sounds still rolling, actually. I think the thing is, like, I can run. I guys got to take out. Okay. So, first of all, Humble Beast does nothing uh, without really thinking through how to not only bring theological excellence, but uh, aesthetic excellence as well. And so this vi this video and this project, I think has a very subtle but powerful statement from the car. Like where, where are we going? Why are we in a car? Where is this car taking us? I think the car represents culture. You have individuals sitting in a car, traveling down this road of culture, right? Because culture takes people places, but it's also taking us down this path that is very dangerous that, um, that people, oftentimes didn't foresee it going and there are consequences there are repercussions to this well one uh i think the reason the reason why i'm passionate about this subject is on i believe when we talk about the issues of justice you can't talk about justice without talk about the life of children and if we're talking about just the lives of children after they get out the wound and the lives of individuals when they're uh, dealing with the justice system then I think we're not talking about a comprehensive view of justice. And it seems that oftentimes we want to create binaries for what justice stands for, what justice is in our country. You have people who want to be very vocal about police brutality or issues of justice for adults, but those same people probably don't kind of have the same passion to fight for justice for unborn babies in the womb. Or that you have some people who are very passionate about unborn children but when it comes to justice for adults, they they're very silent. And they they're uh, there's there's a, it's quite anemic on how they uh, speak out on those issues. And so for me, I have an, a a pretty powerful abortion story myself, and I want to be able to be a voice that challenges cultures culture in this area. And I respect the Darren guy for for like trusting us with this project. I think it's a uh, it's an honor, and it speaks highly to the kind of stuff that they want to accomplish. Uh, I'm excited about people seeing it because I'm always excited about people receiving truth. And so even when it comes to my section where I talk about personhood and how I, I kind of lay out this 
thing between when I was in my mother's womb, I happened to do the same thing that I had that I did outside of the womb, which is be human, hiccup, be hungry, um, move, live life. And so it's just like, man, when we reckon with the fact that God's glory is attached to personhood, it changes your whole paradigm on how you see babies, how you see infants, and thus how you see abortion, where it's like, it's not just it's not a petty thing. Like this is glory. Like God's glory is on this person because they are made in his image. And so I think there is a redemptive part of that too, because I mean, Christ is able to even redeem those who have aborted children. Um, it's, it's not like you're hopeless. It's like, man, he paid the penalty for that sin even for you too. And so it's just like both broken aspects, the child and the mother can be healed in Christ. And so I'm just excited for people to be reminded um, of what matters. <laughs> That's it. Cool. cool. Thank you so much. Man.